What is up? This is your LA in a Minute, and in a city with 22 freeways that span 670 miles, it seems that everything is right off the freeway. But I was driving out to La Mirada the other day, and it took like 20 minutes to get where we were going once we were off the freeway. So that got me wondering, what are the five cities in Los Angeles that are actually furthest from the freeway? Let's get into it. Number five is Northridge in the middle of the San Fernando Valley, right in between four freeways, but not close to any of them. Now, there was actually something that was going to be called the Whitnall Freeway that was supposed to run from Burbank to Malibu right through the middle of the San Fernando Valley that received the green light in 1965. However, it barely got started, and right now all that remains is what's called Whitnall Highway, which is mostly a dog park and power lines. Now, number four is something called South Beverly Park. I had never heard of it. I don't even know if there's a North Beverly Park, but it's supposed to be an idyllic community of historic feeling grand estates that would feel like Beverly Hills of yesteryear. Hmm. Here's one of the sample houses there. And well, it's no wonder that these people didn't want a freeway near their wonderful neighborhood. Number three is Miracle Mile, which is an interesting story because Miracle Mile kind of was like a prototype for a freeway. When it was developed in the 1930s along Wilshire Boulevard, it was just strip that was supposed to serve automobile traffic rather than pedestrian shoppers, the first of its kind. And the design of the street and the buildings itself are actually tailored towards cars. But nevertheless, it's not close to a freeway. Number two is Huntington Park, which is kind of like the Los Angeles counterpoint to Northridge. Northridge in the northwest, Huntington Park in the southeast, boxed in by freeways, but not close to a freeway. And the number one community in Los Angeles furthest from a freeway, Rancho Palos Verdes. Now what's interesting is the original freeway master plan for Los Angeles included what was supposed to be known as the Pacific Coast Freeway, which would have swung along the coast from Redondo Beach and Torrance right through Rancho Palos Verdes. However, it would have demolished homes and wealthy residents were fearful that their property values would decline, so the freeway was never built. So even though it seems like there's freeways everywhere in Los Angeles, and there are, there's still five communities that are pretty far from the freeway, and now you know where they are. All right, LA, it's been a minute.